Hey, I'm Ruby Rose, I'm here at BuzzFeed, and I am here to talk about my first times. First impression of my Batwoman costume. I mean, that was just like, is my life real? Like, is this, am I really gonna wear this every day? This is, I mean, arguably it's a lot less comfortable than what I got to wear on Orange is the New Black. You've gone from like a smock to a very tight-fitting bat suit um, that I can't pee in, but it, looks so cool and it feels so amazing and it, it's I mean that that whole part is like a dream come true yeah you'll have to like have a bat suit at some time guys I don't know how you're gonna organize it but just do it oh this is like a deep question I thought they were gonna be like you know when I first time you watched the Simpsons it's finished the sentence I want to be the first person in Hollywood to but I feel like I, this has probably already happened but I want to have like a giant farm with just like a million rescue dogs but I'm, I'm sure I feel like people have done that so I'll be the first person to, to do it that mentioned it on this show first First celebrity crush. Oh gosh, because I, I know some of these people now. It's like less funny now. I mean, Mandy Moore was a, was a big one. Billy Piper was like legit, legit crush. Met her and I was not cool. And Angelina Jolie, but that's like, that's like I, I'm, I still have a crush on, on her. She's watching this, hi. Oh man, first time I bombed an audition. It was so bad because I wasn't bad. I mean, I, I probably bummed all of my first auditions, like, and slowly you get better and you get used to auditioning. But when you've already established somewhat of a career and, and auditions don't make you nervous, and then you go for a job that you really want, and I mean, it was a, it, it was terrible. It was for Deadpool uh, 2. It was for Domino. And, like, my whole body was just, like, shaking. I couldn't even, like, I don't know what happened, but I, like, literally walked out of there and I was like, I quit. Never again. I'm never seeing any of these people. I'm never, like, and then I... I had to hang out with Ryan Reynolds and I was like, I really wonder if you saw that tape. I really hope you didn't see that tape. It was, uh, I would rather like a sex tape get released. There's not one of me ever, but I would rather that than that audition get released ever. This was not, these are like not fair questions. First person I bonded with on the Batwoman set, you realize we have a really big cast and singling out one person is a really terrible thing to do. I would never do that. Um, Rachel, who was your first real friend in Hollywood and do you still speak? I thought it said, and do you speak? Like, <laughs> no, we just stare at each other. It's Hollywood. Sia, who's ironically, she's Australian, but she was the only person I knew when I got to Hollywood. And so I, and yeah, we still speak, not as much as we used to, but I love her. I saw her a couple months ago. She's the best. Love you, Sia. She still has my dog. She's taking care of it or is it? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she, she still has my dog. I rescued a dog um, and then I had to get back to Australia so I let, I let Sia have it, babysit it, dog sit it, and then, it, and then she didn't give it back. And, and the thing is the dog was named Sia, so then she changed it to Celia, which I wasn't happy about, you know, being the original mum. And so then she changed it to Cereal, which is a good compromise, but she also like had huts built for each of these dogs. And I, to be fair, I was gone for three months and so not two weeks, like I said. It, it had a really good home there and it's, it looks really happy and I don't think it misses me at all. First wild, <laughs> first wild fan experience. Uh, probably the first fan to get my, my face tattooed on their body. She showed me. She just came right up and was like, yay! And I was like, yeah, wow! I was not as a good actor then. I was pretty freaked out. Um, mostly because it didn't look like me that much. <laughs> it's like not a great tattoo. But but she won't know who I'm talking about because so many people have it now. And, and lots of other ones are, are great and wonderful. I just feel like when I'm older and not cool, people, I, I'm gonna get all these bills for laser tattoo removal. And so I like, I, I feel like now I have to put a fund like there's my tax fund and then there's my dog fund and retirement fund and then there's like for all the fans that got my face tattooed that later are gonna want it removed fund. Um, it's getting a little hefty. First time I was starstruck, probably meeting Slash from Guns N' Roses. That was like when I'd already interviewed a ton of people for MTV in Australia. And I met him and I just like grew up listening to his music. I was obsessed, he was my favorite, he was my mom's favorite. And he only did two interviews in Australia at the time. One of them was with me, I don't know why. And the first thing I said to him was, I think I'm, I'm gonna throw up on your lap. And we only had like eight minutes because you only get a certain amount of time with certain people. And I spent half of it basically worried I was gonna throw up on him. And then we had like a 30 minute interview and it was, it was amazing. And then I went to a show and then he met my mum. Yeah, my mum thought he was thought I think he thought that she was kind of cute too. Wasn't what I wanted. First time you got turned down for a role you really wanted. Like Domino could probably still be that. Uh, Deadpool was a great, great film. Would like to have been in it. The, the roles that I get turned down for, like genuinely, um, 
it's because someone's better than me. No, it's I, I watch it and I literally think either the project's trash and I'm like, thank God I didn't do this because the script was great but somehow didn't translate. Or I watch it and I'm like, they did. I really see that person playing that character. Like I've, I've never not gotten a role and then watched it and been like, I should have that role, that should have been me. First kiss, probably in primary school, which I don't think that means anything to anyone here. It's like the school before whatever you guys call the next school. Elementary school. <laughs> yeah, elementary school. And we were playing like, kids would play like husband and wife. And like, I would always play husband, of course. And I kissed my wife on the lips. She loved it, it was great. We were like very young. She didn't kiss me back, she was just like, that was so fun. I was like, ah. wasn't it? Thanks so much, that was fun. I mean, it was interesting, it was different, it was unusual, it was nice. Don't forget to check out Batwoman on CW. I don't know when you're gonna get this, so um, maybe it comes out now, maybe it's out, maybe it comes out in a minute. It really depends on when this video goes to air. But bye, watch it, it's great, I think. Bye.